different ways to determine the moisture content. And uh, usually farmers, they don't have sophisticated equipment. They bite the grains and they have a feeling for uh, then for how, how wet the grain is, but that's not a very accurate method. So there are also devices like this moisture meter, which uh, helps us to measure the moisture content, but uh, they are very expensive. So this unit, for example, costs in the market between 200 and 400 dollars, which is far too expensive uh, for a single farmer or even for, for usage in villages. So, because uh, we, we believe that measuring, being able to measure moisture content in the villages is very important uh, for the farmers to maintain the quality of their grain and also to uh, get the maximum profit from, from their sales, uh, we have developed this, uh, we call it the low-cost moisture tester, which is basically using the same principle like a, a commercial moisture tester, but it's uh, basically only contains the minimum functions and therefore it can be made very cheap. The way uh, this instrument works is that instead of having a digital display, it just has uh, three indicator lights. And uh, the lights basically give an indication about whether the grain is wet and needs to be dried, indicated by uh, the red light, or whether it's significantly, significantly dried for storage, uh, that which is represented by the green light, or whether it's uh, dry enough to be stored as seeds. So seeds need to be stored in the, at the moisture content below 12%. So if the yellow light is on, then uh, the grain will have moisture content below 12%. So this is a commercially available moisture meter. As I mentioned before, it costs around uh, between $200 and $400. And uh, the low-cost moisture tester, at the moment, uh, we can sell for $55, which is uh, around one-eighth of the, of the commercial moisture meter. And if uh, the local production will increase in numbers, then there's potential to bring the, down the price to $35 or less. So this is significantly cheaper than the commercial unit, and we believe that uh, at that price, it's in the reach of farmers' groups, cooperatives, and, and uh, will enable farmers and people in the village to measure the moisture content more accurately. And one of the big advantages they will get from that, beyond just uh, being able to maintain their crop and, and save the quality, is also that they are in a better negotiating position than they have to deal with the traders, because they can actually quantify uh, what moisture content their, their crop has. But I, I will demonstrate to you now how the moisture meter works. We have a little spoon here. Uh, yeah, we put a couple of grains in, and at the moment I'm working with a sample that has 16% moisture content. So we put the grains in there. Then we insert it in the moisture tester. And then we crush the grains using the screw. And as you can see, it shows us that the a grain is too wet to be stored safely. And from the pattern of the light, we even can tell what moisture content it has. So if it's permanently red, then the moisture content is between 15 and 16 percent, yeah. I now take another sample. sample here, which should have around 14 percent moisture content. And we do the same. And you can see green means it's dry enough for safe storage and uh, green permanently on means that uh, it has between 12 and 13 percent moisture content. Just to compare uh, the Erie low cost moisture meter uh, with the reading of a commercial moisture meter, I use the same sample as I used last with 14 percent. So the principle is the same, you use a couple of grains, put it inside the moisture tester, and then we crush it, we measure, and it gives us a reading of 13.3%, which is the same result as we had with the Erie Moisture Tester. What you just saw is the Erie Super Bag. The Erie Super Bag is a storage bag for safe storage of seeds over a long period of time. And uh, a precondition for safe storage is that the seeds go in there at low moisture content. And that's where the Erie moisture meter comes in. 
it uh, basically allows uh, the seed producer to quantify that the seeds are actually at the low moisture content that is needed for safe storage. For example, here we have a sample of that seed. We crush it again. And it is so dry that all <laughs> lamps blink, which basically means that it's below, below 10%. So that would be safe for the storage of seed.